This video contains foul language and offensive material. Not a good idea for the younger of audience. Work has been officially postponed today. Um, if you're calling to get wax, you're pretty much shit out of luck. Mark Carter. How's it going, Willie? We're gonna go shred with Mark today instead of sitting in the office. Yeah, it's kind of a good day. Cause that's for suckers. Suckers, totally. Works way overrated. How much snow do we get? Dude, I don't know, man. It was like at least a foot and a half on my truck this morning and still coming down. So uh, yeah, everything's officially postponed on this Monday. We're gonna go to the real office, get some work done. Hey, yeah, so yeah. There's a lot of everybody going down there these days, huh? Put his name like right here, uh, yeah, or maybe up here. No, we'll put it like right here. It's Mark Carter, and you're watching the Bluebird Show. Your turn. Central Wyoming called Ten Sleep, a little ranch and community. About 300 people, you know, no TV. Kind of use your imagination, go fishing, playing on the sticks for most of the days. Yeah, you know, it's just like branding's pretty much part of like the Western culture. Um, as far as you know, everybody brands their cattle, you know, puts their mark on them so they don't get rustled, I guess. So yeah, every spring. You know, the calves are born and you, you wait a few months until they get big enough that you can, you can brand them and it won't be too detrimental to their health. Uh, so you get the huge community in and uh, everybody kind of helps everybody uh, to just drag the cows out, and rope them and brand them and wrestle them and then drink all the beer that we bring at the end of the day. Yeah, man, like I pretty much grew up with no TV, uh, no video games. I grew up, you know, kind of making my own entertainment. Uh, just in nature. Always had some crazy pet that we found down by the creek or like dad brought home or something bum calf that we had to feed every day. Bum lambs. I mean it was just like the list goes on and on. So we were always entertained. Always had chores. You know it was just like it was it was interesting. Brokeback Mountain. Well first off too, Brokeback Mountain wasn't even filmed in the US. I think I'm pretty sure it was filmed in Canada. I love how they bite Wyoming but I don't know any gay cowboys. There could be some, but who cares? Um, but yeah, the whole perception, you know, obviously, like, people don't really understand the whole lifestyle unless you've been there and seen it and done it, you know? It's like, it's definitely a simple life. It's it's very rewarding, you know? It's, it's like, I don't know, you don't need all the material things to be happy. Fuck, what about, um, like, you grew up snowboarding on your ranch? Yeah, you know, like, to. We were always trying to figure out shit to do, you know, like my dad would pull us around behind the, I mean the funnest thing we ever did was my dad would pull us around behind the trucks in the sleds, like on the ranch. Best thing ever. So instantly I loved snow and I was always looking for something that would kind of involve that excitement in snow. There was always snow behind the behind the corrals there. Uh, this is actually I'm standing at the top of the hill. I first learned how to snowboard on first run ever. Pretty sick. So yeah, you basically would go into the cow shit down by the feeder. But uh, yeah, just thought I'd let you guys know that. And me and my brother like went up and tried to shred and just got broke off. But it was definitely like instant love with the board after that and just kind of kind of kept it on you know 
definitely wasn't very easy to like be a snowboarder intensely. There was no scene, man. I didn't even know like grabbing your board was cool till I was like 12 years old. But now you go back home and you're like the local hero. <laughs> yeah, I guess, man. It's pretty funny for sure. But there's like some shredders and stuff there. And you, you've been taking people out there like Travis and Landvik and Dal yeah. and a bunch of people. Yeah, you know, I was like, because like, I did grow up and it was really interesting. Like people don't understand and I'm always like really open to show people like what my life, like you, you got to come see it to understand it. Like what I grew up doing. Um, and so I love to bring my homies out in the spring or whenever, you know, and just like put them into the middle of a bunch of cows and just kind of see the reaction. Growing up, my we had one cop in town and he was our football coach so it was like dude anything we did anything we wanted you know getting a 12 pack case of Coors Light grabbing the guns going onto the hill I mean we had nothing to do there was nothing to entertain us what are you doing this winter uh this winter man I've just been uh shredding in Jackson for the majority uh hooked on full time with uh, Absinthe following uh Captain Crazy around <laughs> Travis Rice, that's always interesting. Trying to just watching that guy makes you feel like you suck at snowboarding. So who are your sponsors? Weekend Snowboards, North Face, got the Smith Optics, Bluebird Wax, of course, Liberty Board Shop. Uh, yeah. Oh, Red Bull. Let me do that again. So check out my new board coming out with Weekend. Um, Mike Perillo is doing my graphic. Super excited. It's pretty much my first real promo. Buy it. Huh? Buy it. Buy it.